Good evening. This is episode four of Tea Time. Before we get into tonight's tea, let's boil some water. As our water boils, let's talk about tonight's tea. Tonight's tea is Sleepy Time Peach by Celestial Seasonings. It's an herbal caffeine-free tea, and there are 20 bags to the box. Let's read Sleepy Time Peach's description. This delightful tea adds to the just-picked flavor and aroma of ripe yellow peaches to our beloved Sleepy Time blend of soothing herbs and botanicals like chamomile, spearmint, and lemongrass. Brew a cup and wind down your day with a little warm and fuzzy feeling. Signed, Charlie Baden, Celestial Seasonings Blend Master. Now let's read the instructions of this sleepy time tea. Hot tea by the cup. Pour boiled water over one tea bag. Steep four to six minutes and remove tea bag. Sweeten if desired. And then it has an asterisk. Always pour boiled water into a heat resistant cup. So I've just added our boiling water to our tea. Uh, it says steep four to six minutes. Uh, let's wait six minutes on this tea and uh, then give it a sip. So our six minutes is up. I almost fell asleep. Uh, very relevant to the sleepy time tea. Let's give the tea a sip. Uh, so I have to admit, um, before I put the tea bag, or rather the water in the tea, I gave uh, just the tea bag a sniff, <laughs> and uh, I was almost paranoid that the tea was actually in the wrong bag, like they they had by accident put in some other type of tea into this peach, what was supposed to be this peach tea. Um, but uh, to my surprise, the uh, the ingredients say... I think the first couple of things are chamomile, lemongrass, spearmint. I immediately smelled mint um, off the tea. Uh, almost no peach smell whatsoever, just uh, uh, without the, the bag being uh, added to water. But uh, yeah, we have ingredients, chamomile, spearmint, lemongrass, natural peach flavor with other natural flavors, hawthorn, blackberry leaves, orange blossoms, tilia flowers, and rosebuds. Also, those ingredients sound incredibly nice. Like... There's nothing um, unnatural and uh, seems kind of special, right? Like all these, all these additives, like all these little, little touches of flavor. So that's really interesting to this mix. It sounds almost more luxurious than maybe it, uh, it tastes, but let's, let's give it a couple more sips. I'm trying to, uh, I'm sitting on this, this flavor. So off the bat, the, the tea is relatively mild, and the peach flavor, which I was expecting um, to really be there, is kind of behind the scenes. I would definitely say this tastes much like a chamomile tea, um, and let's give it a smell too. And and smells uh, uh, a lot like peach, um, but I guess those yeah the the taste and the smell don't don't necessarily match uh, for this tea. But I'm trying to get a clear, really clear idea every time I sip the tea of what the, the flavor really is. Um, and it's not like the flavor is at all bad, but I don't think the flavor is very defined. Um, and that could be a good thing, especially for someone who's not trying to um, <laughs> analyze a tea like crazy and just really enjoy it. I think this is definitely an enjoyable tea, but uh, eh, not very, doesn't taste as complex as it sounds. So I like the fact that the tea isn't, um, uh, it, there's not a lot of spearmint in there. It's definitely, it's interesting because it actually matches really well with the hot water. A lot of the time you'll think um, that cool things will match really well with, uh, with mint, uh, with anything that kind of like gives a cool uh, aftertaste or uh, uh, aroma. But in this case, it kind of matches well with the hot water. I'm not sure why, but it almost like it sneaks in there. It's kind of just... Um, it's it's a natural part of that the hot water aroma, so um, I really like that aspect of this tea. I, I thought the spearmint I was scared that the spearmint was going to be uh, too much, but it's really um, it's it's a perfect level of that. 
Um, chamomile wise, I think it's a really nice level of chamomile. Peach, I'm just, I'm really, um, I'm lacking that, that real, I wanted more peach flavor in this and I checked the, the expiration on it. It's completely fine. I think it's like August of 2022. So it's not like this tea is old. Uh, so I'm just a bit disappointed there. Let me take a couple more sips and give you, give you guys a full rating. So overall, I like this tea, but I'm going to give this tea a 7.2. Um, it doesn't blow me away. It's not, uh, it's not exactly what I was expecting. I remember having these types of teas as a kid. That Celestial uh, Seasonings makes um, a really good medley, like a, like a sleepy time medley, which has like, I think like some zinger, lemon zinger, raspberry zinger, some bangle spice, I think is one of them. I'm going to try a bunch of those too in the future, but uh, you know, this tea, I think brings me close to my being a kid or at least being with family. I remember having, um, tea at my grandmother's house, uh, <laughs> especially before COVID, um, uh, which still, which still happens, which will happen once, once this vaccine hopefully, uh, uh, kicks in for everyone. Um, but anyways, uh, we used to have it at my grandmother's house all the time, uh, this type of tea, and it does definitely remind me of family, home, especially my mother's side of the family. Um, but yeah, 7.2 I think is very fair for this tea. It's exceptional in terms of um, uh, uh, the chamomile side of the tea I think is really, really nice. This is like really a calming. It's like a, it's like, it's a calming taste. Um, sometimes chamomiles can be a little bit, for some reason, heavier. Uh, so, but th this is really nice and I'm um, just, just wishing for more peach, but, um, overall tea was good. It's nice and it, it's, it's, it's at a really nice temperature right now. So I'm getting, um, uh, mostly spearmint, mostly chamomile and some peach and the rest of those things in the, in the, um, this description or, or ingredients. I, I'm not sure I can really taste and I don't know what half of those things are. So, um, but the aroma is really good, uh, uh, really light. The spearmint is a really nice level. Does It's not uh, uh, going to kill you. It's not going to taste like, uh, uh, you're chewing gum or something. Um, so it's, it's really tasty, but just wish there was more peach in there. And, uh, and that's a review. So <laughs> if you enjoyed this review, I would really appreciate uh, a like, a comment, uh, a subscription, um, a hi Avery, uh, uh, thanks for the review or, uh, check out my reviews or check out your reviews or, um, whatever you want to say in the comments. I want to hear more from you guys. So, uh, whatever you have to say. And, uh, and that's it. Thanks for spending time with me. Um, I'm definitely going to fall asleep in the next 30 seconds. Uh, so I really appreciate you guys, uh, hanging in there with me and, uh, enjoying a cup of tea, uh, regardless of your financial situation, your family situation. Um, uh, thanks for just, you know, looking on YouTube, looking or listening on SoundCloud somewhere. And, uh, uh, um, I guess, you know, being a part of my life, uh, whether it's today or a million years from now. Um, so thanks and, uh, yeah, spread love and peace. Cheers.